All right, I'm gonna do a couple games here with the baby Zandalari Raptor. Oops, my add-ons goofed. There we go, because I was in combat. I'm gonna do a couple games with some teams I put together with the baby Zandalari Raptor. I really like this pet. Is a uh, I think it's pretty strong, especially the speed speed breed. All right, uh, got three undeads, so this is gonna be rough. But I do have an aquatic, so. For some shadow shocks here. Um, looks like he's doing the same thing. I'll go ahead and haunt him, why not? Um, I'll bring in my aquatic since he'll probably haunt me right back and I can throw a bleed on him first. as Curse I mean, on Holy Ascension. Yeah, that must be what he has. Alright, well, I guess I'll go ahead and heal up that little bit of damage. on his wee abomination. And I have pretty low health on that wicked soul, so I better bring him in if I want to use him at all. Oh, well, he predicted it, I guess. Uh, well, I could still use him as a corpse, so I don't know if it's really worth it to go for that AoE heal. I'll just go for blood in the water. Can't heal yet because I'm not dead, so. I guess I'll heal now. Kills my Zandalari Raptor, that's okay because I can just use him, use him as a corpse. Oh, there we go. He has corpse explosion. Well, uh. I'll probably just go for a cleave. Let me bring in my Raptor. Go ahead and bleed him up. I don't think it's worth it for me to go for a survival. Better go for that consume corpse now. That's a nice heal. Should die on this turn because he has black claw on him. Oh, we'll probably heal though. Yeah, that was a good move. All right. Well, I don't have any more corpses to eat, so now it's just a damage race. I think it's a tie. Yeah, because he'll be able to kill me with his grave destruction here. Oh, nice, it wasn't enough damage, because he was on his undead turn. It's been a, it's been like a week and a half since I've pet battled, so I'm a little rusty, not gonna lie. Didn't expect to win that one. Um, this team is really strong, so I'm gonna save it for if I lose. 
I'll go ahead and play with a little bit more of a fun team. Uh, if you're watching Kovac in uh, one of his videos recently, he used this team because I suggested it for him. I think it's pretty fun. Um, decently strong. It has some good synergy. You got a bleed, you got a maul, you got a trap, you got a way to set off the trap. You have a slow, which is nice since you have a swap out ability. It just, it's not like a super good team, but I think it could be fun. Kind of don't want to rematch against that guy since he has so much undead damage, but yeah, it's okay. I gave him a, a loss last time. All right, so we got a, a different guy. Magma Rage thing's always scary to go up against, so maybe I'll start with my Enchanted Room and swap him out. Uh... Or maybe I'll start with my baby Zandalari Raptor. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, let me start with my broom. And swap him out right away. I don't want to deal with that trap yet, if I can avoid it. And I have a good matchup against this guy, so... Although he probably has, uh, has strong damage against me, too. Maybe not. He probably has Cleave and Adrenaline Rush. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and go for a batter. He's staying in to take the strong damage, so that's good for me. Oh, because he has the strong damage against me. Okay, well. Looks like we're probably going to trade pets here. But I took down a scorpion, so that dot's going to kill me, though, I'm pretty sure. Because he has his beast racial active after he dies, so that's going to continue to do 109 times 3. That's 327. Oh, if nothing crits, I should survive. But he has AoE, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Let me... Let me just go for a batter. Got a lucky triple hit, so that's good. I'll go ahead and go for a cleanup now, just in case he swaps. I don't want to deal strong damage, I mean weak damage, with my batter to him. I wasn't really paying attention to RNG, but I want to say I got a lot of triples, so that could definitely help me in this game. All right, let's bring in my raptor. Go for a rip. Go ahead and get this primal cry on cooldown. Uh, this is looking scary. I'm definitely gonna die here if I don't survival, so let's go ahead and do that. Looks like the only way I'll have a chance to win is if he stays in now and then I get a trap down and that trap goes off. Well, I'll go ahead and throw down that trap. Maybe it'll interrupt him. If it does, I think I still win because I'll have a slow on him for one more turn. <laughs> that was so lucky. Oh man, that's too bad. Got him. That was a close battle. I did not really expect to win that. But that trap can really just turn the tide in a, bat in a match that you shouldn't win. I did the same thing against Kovac, and uh, he deserved a win, and then I totally robbed him of it with this team, so 
That was my other win with it, by the way. Um, so this is a rather similar team that I put together uh, to the last last team, but this time I had the Infested Bear Cub. I don't have a trap, but uh, I still have Primal Cry, so that, I mean, the Infested Bear Cub, when you throw out a Primal Cry, he's still probably going to be slower, but he might be able to outspeed some pets with that slow on the enemy team, so that's the idea here, and then obviously you just have Rip plus Maul. There just are not a ton of good Maulers, like if you look at a Maul, Rage Peep's pretty cool, but I mean, he's a beast, so I didn't want to go double beast. That's kind of meh. Most of them are beasts, so really your only options are Infested Bear Cub, Anodized Robo Cub, and then Curious Wolf Our Pup. Oh, I guess there is Hogs, but he's pretty garbage. I guess I could try to put a team together with him, but I don't know. Uh, Consume Corpse team, maybe. Kind of like, oh yeah, that could work. You could have like Wicked Soul. Baby Zandalari, Raptor, and Hogs. That could be fun. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, let me put this team together real quick. I have, already have a Wicked Soul, so maybe I'll try Ghastly Kid. Uh, so you have your Haunt, you have your Consumed Corpse, you have your Maul with your Bleed, and then since I already have Beast Damage, I probably want that Vicious Slice. Humanoid Damage. Um, I probably still want the Primal Cry because Hogs and the Ghastly Kid are super slow. And then I'm definitely going Ethereal since I don't want to cleanse that. Oh wait, no. Primal Cry is not a Dazzling Dance, it's a, it's a slow. So I don't really have to worry about that. But still, I think Ethereal's nice. Um, Ethereal is nice. I don't know. I, I'm terrible at making team names. But I'm going to come back to that team later, maybe. Let me go ahead and play this one first, because this is what I wanted to play anyways. Um, wow, these, these battles are pretty close. They'd probably go better if I was warped up, but I just haven't played in like a week and a half. So I'm kind of yellowing these. Um, so yeah. Oh, Stone Grinder. Why did I choose him? Um, I think basically I just saw. Well, I'm weak to flyers because I have a bunch of weak, a uh, bunch of beast damage, and then I'm weak to mechanicals because I have a beast. So I just looked up. Strong versus uh, Mechanical and Flyer. And then I saw the Fiendish Imp and I was like, well, no thanks. Although I do have him this team, just because it's obvious synergy with the knockoff bling. Um, and then Immolation plus Black Claws OP. Immolation plus the Imps OP, but... There just aren't a whole lot of great options here. Jade Mist Dancer, you're generally not actually going to run that Jade Claw, just because even if you're going up against Flyers, you'll do just fine with Steam Vent, because it hits really hard under Acid Rain, or Cleansing Rain. Um, I just didn't see anything that really excited me, except the Stone Grinder does have his own bleed. Uh, he's a really solid pet. He just has really good damage diversity. So... Also, if I run into a clone dance team, which this is not, but if I did, then that uh, that cleanup will be able to take care of cyclones. All right, so we got a double humanoid and an aquatic. Not sure what this guy's going for, but he does have that pet, which I don't, so I'm jealous. All right, uh, what should I start with? I'm thinking I should start with my beast. He probably has weak damage to me with his Horde Fanatic. Let me go for a rip. What am I going to do with that Hermit Crab? I have no idea. Uh, hmm. Well, let's go for a Primal Cry. Okay, probably has Tesla Cannon since he just did that swap. So, I mean, his other option would be Body Slam, so he's just likely to have Tesla Cannon. So, I don't really have an Elemental to soak it on, but I do 
Oh, should I should I stay in to throw up the bleed? Ooh, that's gonna hit real hard. I don't think it's worth it. I think I should just swap right away. Oh, here's what I can do. I can throw up a bleed with my stone grinder. Oh, okay. Well, let's get rid of that. No, thank you. That worked out nicely. I wasn't really thinking about removing the barrier projector until it was there, but now that it's there... Uh, it's not an item? What? Oh, come on. How is that not an item? Buffs go here, items go there. That's... whatever. That's... that's lame. I did not know that would happen. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Because Thunderbolt's gonna be AoE, so I'll just... I'll just pass. Kind of, I'm kind of disappointed that that what it, uh, that my cleanup didn't. Oh, words, English is hard today. Kind of disappointed that didn't count as an object for cleanup. So let's go ahead and bleed this guy up. Oh, strong damage! Yikes! Should I stay in for that? I think I should swap. I don't want to eat that burp. Too bad he's not slowed anymore. Ugh, try to smelly liquid. I think I'm gonna lose this one. I've been swapping a lot, and uh, I'm just not sure what I'm gonna be able to do about that hermit crab. Let me go ahead and uh, bash him since I'm dealing 50% less damage, anyways. Okay, even if he goes for a jar of smelly liquid now. I'll still be able to kill him. I'm dealing 50% less damage now, so I should probably save my infested bear cub for later. There's no way that the hermit crab is slower than me. After, uh, after I slow him with Primal Cry. Maybe he's slower than my stone grinder. I'm not sure. I should have, I should have paid attention to that earlier. This guy's taking his sweet time. Um, okay, well he's saving that hermit crab for later. That's a good move. Um, man, I would have such a better time if cleanup would be able to take out that barrier projector, but as it is, I just can't really do much about it. Um, I guess I'll just bring in my stone grinder. I can at least deal some damage with cleanup right now. That's that's really all I can do. It's too bad that that doesn't remove it. Um, I guess I'll just pass. And uh, let's go ahead and wood chipper here. Ooh, I'm not sure what to do. Let's bring in my, my infested bear cup. I'm not really sure why I'm stalling. I think this is kind of a loss, so there's no real reason to prolong it. Oh, that was a really low end hit. Um, Okay. I'm curious whether he has shell armor or bubble. I'm hoping I can at least find that out before uh, he kills me, because I might requeue into this guy and that'll be useful to know. I'm just gonna stun him. Yeah, he has shell armor. Okay. So, I'm not going to be able to hit him or anything. So, I'll just pass. He'll probably go under here. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, he didn't go under. Well, that's no good. Yeah, even if I had predicted that, I think he still had that game won. But... Now I know that he has shell armor. So, um, I said I would bring out this team if I lost, because 
This imp will help me out against all those pets. He's faster than the Horde Fanatic or Alliance Enthusiast. I wasn't paying attention to which one it is, but it doesn't matter. They're all Wormy Tunkins copies. And then I have a Minefield, since he likes to swap so much. Uh, still can't really do anything about his uh, Barrier Projector, but I just I didn't know that it would not be counted as a removable object. Oh, hey, cool. Well, I used to queue into this guy all the time. Um, good team. Difficult to beat, so I'm glad that I brought a good team. Uh, what should I start with? Probably my knockoff Blingtron. That seems like a good, well, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let me start with my knockoff Blinktron. Oh, and he has two beasts, so there's really nothing he can do about this except hope that it misses under darkness. Which it could, I mean, both the application and uh, the minefield, uh, whenever they swap, can miss. So uh, let me save this guy for later. I'm going to bring in my raptor now. I'll just pass. Go for a rip. Okay. He's probably gonna swap. Oh, he didn't swap. That works. Let me go ahead and survival. Go for a black claw since he's not swapping. This guy's probably still going to be useful, so I'll go ahead and bring in my imp. Go to, uh, let me see. I'll throw up immolation since he's up in the air and let me see this is one round left so i better go ahead and swap him out force that uh force that mine to hit his twilight oh no i missed oh that's terrible well that probably cost me the game that would have been like a thousand damage on his twilight i wouldn't have taken that bone barrage and now my minefield's gone, so that was pretty costly. Uh, let's go ahead and just burn him. Cool, he wasted his surge of light. Let's bring out the baby Zandalari raptor, go for a survival. Go ahead and go for a black claw. Oh my god, I missed again. Well, let's go for make it rain. I kind of like a rematch against this guy because I'm pretty sure if my uh, nether gate didn't miss, I would be able to beat him. Let's go ahead and inflation. And I'm dead. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and replay that team because I'm kind of hoping for a rematch. Hopefully he queues again right away. Kind of like to get at least three wins. Maybe I'll try to get one win with each of these teams. 
So I'll come back to stun grinders in a second. Looks like he's dodging me, so I'll, I'll pick a different team. Uh, let's play with this team since I just put it together. It won't do that well against that one guy if I queue into him because his darkness will mess with my consumed corpse. That's alright. I'm thinking that he's out of the meta right now. mechanical that's gonna be rough maybe this is somebody realizing I'm playing a bunch of baby Zandalar Raptors um hmm well I don't have any elementals or elemental damage so this is gonna be tough but I may be able to pull off a win. Let's go ahead. I'm thinking he's going to minefield now, so let's go ahead and hoof. Yeah, there we go. Too bad I don't have the cleanse. That's alright. I can eat the minefield with my hogs, and then consume corpse. So... Uh, let's get this mall on cooldown. Ooh, he has charge. That's cute. All right. Let's go ahead and heal now. Um, now he has a bunch of mechanical damage, so I don't know if I really want to swap to my baby Zandalari Raptor. Let's go ahead and just stay in. Oh, he went for a inflation right away. wonder why you're doing that. Well, once that inflation's over, I can always just swap into my ghastly kid. So that haunt will be gone. So let's just go for another mall. I'm surprised he didn't go for a make it rain, or even a launch rocket. So let's go ahead, bring in the ghastly kid. Okay, probably a good thing I didn't dodge there, it would have let him heal. Um, I don't really see any reason to go for an ethereal, so I'll just go for some hoofs. I wonder if he'll save his little blink for later. Okay, well, I do have AoE, so that's not going to help him out very much. Let's bring in my baby Zandalari Raptor. Get this Primal Cry on cooldown, right? I think that's the plan. Mm. Yeah, let's go for a rip. All right, I'll probably just go for a charge, but it's weak damage, so I'm not worried about it. So a little 
bling in the dark moon tonk taken care of i have a slow on his last pet so unless that minefield like crits me or something i think i'll be fine all right so he has fell exhaust Go ahead and wait one turn before he survival. Oh, he had a swap. I did not expect that. I didn't think about Nether Gate. Well, I have a corpse to eat, so I should be fine. Um, he slowed for two more rounds. Let me get this maul on him. Get this consumed corpse. Actually, I probably should have consumed corpse first to get that on cooldown, but I think it's okay. We're actually faster than Micronax. It's hilarious. Hogs is one of the slowest pets in the game. Alright, close game, but we got the win. Let's go back to stun grinders, I think. do decently well if I queue into that same guy because I have Thunderbolt for strong elemental damage. <clears throat> this meta doesn't seem too difficult or competitive right now. It's kind of some fun pets out. Wish I had Micronax. That's a pretty neat pet. I, I just never thought about putting him on a, on a minefield team. But he totally has an other gate. And that definitely caught me off guard. I, was, I wasn't even thinking about what, what moves he might have because I never run into him. So let's see. He has a 200% chance move. A dot. AoE. And then a uh, Feign Death ability. Alright. This is a pretty strong looking team. Terra Claw isn't as good as it once was. For sure. Um, Two mechanicals. So that's going to be difficult for my baby Zandalari Raptor. I do have two decoy breakers. Primal Cry and Clean Up. Um, I'm thinking... I should probably start with the stone grinder. Let's get this. Should I get this thunderbolt on cooldown? I think so. Now I can take care of that decoy right away, no problem. lead up on this zeppelin and I should probably swap to my infested bear cub I'm guessing he has explode since he didn't go for his bombing run so let me go ahead and go for a maul here I have a pretty good matchup against his MPD with my infested bear cub. Uh, he'll probably go for an explode, so who do I want to eat that on? Actually, I kind of want to eat it on my baby Zandalari Raptor. I can throw out a bleed on that MPD if he comes in. Break that decoy with a primal cry. And then I don't have a very good matchup against my against his Terra Claw with my beast damage so yeah I think that was the right call to eat the explode with this guy let's go ahead and break that decoy right away um he has a bleed on him so I'll go ahead and bring in my bear cub I take weak damage from his breath so he'll probably just go for a thunderbolt and then swap out Maybe he'll swap out right away. No, he went for a breath. That's an interesting choice. Well, I'll take it. Hmm. 
All right, I think I'll just stay in on my bear cub till he's dead. He has dodge. Well, maybe I will. Hmm. Uh, he can't ravage off of me because I'm an undead. So he can't get a killing blow on me. So I think I'll just, well, 305. This might hit higher, so I'll just go for it. why he must have ravage well let's bring in the stone grinder i can deal some strong damage i think i can just, just kill him with a cleanup and a thunderbolt i'll be faster than him once he loses his racial yeah we got him all right I think I just need to get a win with, oh, this guy left, okay. There we go, with this team. So if I could get a rematch against that one guy that gave me the loss uh, with that darkness team, that would be cool. Because I think of all of these, of all five of these teams, this would be my best matchup against him since I have the minefield versus that double beast. That's a really strong team, I'm not gonna lie. I lose to it a lot, or used to. Twilight's pretty scary. And Bone Serpent's still a really solid tier one pet. Alrighty, well. I've got a Darkness Bird, a Wisp, and a Little Blame. Um... Let's start with Bling Chong. Go ahead and make it rain. I want to take care of his flying racial ASAP. So let's go for an inflation. Kind of glad he swapped out. I mean, he stayed in. It would be smart for him to try to preserve his racial, but no more racial for you. Oh, he only got a single hit. That's lucky for me. All right. Uh, well, if I throw out a booby trap presence, he'll probably eat it with his magic pet, but that magic pet's a little bit worrisome. Um, let's go ahead and throw it out anyways. Now, hopefully I win this coin toss. Yeah, I did. All right, well, that was pretty lucky. If he'd won that coin toss, I wouldn't have killed him. He would have killed me. Oh, he ate it with his mechanical. Not gonna complain. Um, Should I save my Blinktron for later? I don't think so. Oh, that was super lucky. He missed two of his Make It Rains. Yeah, this, this, uh, this game's pretty much over. I don't really see any way for him to come back from uh, from here. Let's go ahead and burn him before he has a chance to extra plating. I just realized I have Black Claw, so I'm not going to be able to outspeed his Nordrasil Wisp. he gets super lucky. I just don't see his wisp being able to 1v2 my pets. Okay. I'll go ahead and stay until he blinds me. Now I'll swap. Oh gee, this sure wasn't a very exciting final game. But it's okay, I shouldn't have had to do another game with this anyways. If I didn't miss that nether gate earlier, I would have gotten that first win. Yeah, good job.
job, dinosaur. All right. Go ahead and swap so I don't take the double damage. No need to take risks. All right. Cool. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I got a win with every single team, so call it a day, but I got some teams put together for this Bloodstone Tunneler. Kovac's been asking me to do a spotlight on that, so I'll make that my next video, I think. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.